Anne and the others in hiding were frightened they'd be found. She wrote in her diary that one of the helpers, Victor Kugler, was concerned about house-to-house -house searches for hidden bicycles. The Nazi occupiers wanted all Dutch people to hand in their bikes. Unless they could hide the door to the secret annex, the chance of being discovered in such a raid was great. So Victor suggested hiding the entrance behind a false cupboard. Bep Voskow's father, Johan, who was another of the helpers, built them one. The cupboard opened with a catch that could be lifted both from inside the secret annex and by the helpers in the front office. The rest of the doorway was covered with a wooden board and this map. The cupboard contained box files looking like office records. They taped up the window too, so no one could see what was going on behind the cupboard. Our hiding place has now become a true hiding place. Twice, strangers approached the cupboard. First, a carpenter doing repairs. I almost fainted from fear at the thought that this complete stranger might succeed in dismantling our hiding place. Then the police, searching the property after a burglary. Anne and the others in the hiding place feared the worst. Now we are lost, I said, a rattling at the bookcase two times. Then a can fell to the floor. The steps retreated. We were saved for the time being. Two narrow escapes. But on the 4th of August 1944, the bookcase failed to provide the protection the group in hiding depended on. They were discovered and taken away. <laughs>